Hi! Hello lovelies, and welcome back. We are here to continue playing Project Eden's Garden. It has been about a week since I last played this, um, and I don't know, I just never came up that I had time or um, I wasn't feeling well, but today um, I've had a lot of rest and my mind is very clear and I feel like I can do uh, the voices today and I feel like I can have a good time with it. So. That's why I'm here today to continue. We are now on to part two um, and we'll see how much I play today. Hopefully I'll do an hour again because I want to do that. Um, but we'll see how this goes. Now, like I said, from estimations, or I don't even know if I mentioned this, from estimations, I think this is about a four hour long prologue. Um, so expect maybe two more parts after this. Um, but you know, we'll see as we get to this. Um, but. Yeah, I'm just doing this as a test to make sure, otherwise I'm sure I would have already started the game. But yeah, I'm very excited to check this out and continue. Um, we're getting to know all the other characters today, so we're probably going to meet all 11 uh, that we haven't already, unless something comes up and like some of them are missing or something. Um, so we're going to do a lot of character introduction and a lot of new voices, and also I literally just, as I was starting to um, film this episode, I checked my comment section and I had gotten a new comment on my previous part um, and one of the voice actors for this game actually came in and commented on that video. So thank you so much. If you're watching this as well, I really appreciate you and, um, you know, love the work you do. So <laughs> anyway, we're going to meet that character today. So. I just say we're going to dive in uh, and continue because I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, <laughs> without further ado, let's go ahead and continue on with Project Eden's Garden, shall we? So yeah, let's get it. Alright everybody, we are now here. Um, I have no clue if I want to keep in both of my headphones because it is pretty loud in the volume. So I think I'll keep it out for now because we get some swaggy music playing. Um, but we're gonna check out this room real quick before we leave because we, uh, according to that girl, I forget her name, but to that girl, um, she said that we're supposed to be going outside, um, to meet the others. So I think we're gonna do that, but before that, we could check out this area, shall we? <clears throat> the woman's mask bore the unmistakable nose and horns of a giraffe. Definitely not a live one, though. There's some imagery going on here, and I don't know how to feel about it. Um, because, like, there's a lot of interesting, um, interesting stuff, let's just say that. Sofa. It's a comfy looking sofa. If I sit down, I might not be able to get up, back up. Might refrain for now. <laughs> okay. Sure. So this is like a little kitchen, but it has a menu. Interesting. Another painting. This painting was one that I recognized. I'm pretty sure my high school team had to research it for a debate. Huh, okay. Whatever we were trying to argue, I scrubbed it from my memory. <laughs> Needed to make room for the next debate somehow. I keep forgetting this dude is a debater. And like, again, it's just an interesting concept to me of having the main the main character be one. That's just, that's just me, my personal opinion, obviously. One thing's for sure, the woman in the painting didn't wear a mask. And the liquid she's pouring, it definitely wasn't blood. He's being really cryptic. <laughs> Dude, you're being so cryptic, I don't understand. Another painting. I know most people wouldn't look at all these paintings, but I'm one who really likes looking at details, obviously. Talk about the stuff of nightmares, is it supposed to be hyena? It looks like a hyena. Or like some type of more feral dog, you know? The ears are really big though. My, maybe it's a wild dog? Yeah. Whatever. I'm wasting my time here. <laughs> Let's hope this guy isn't really grumpy because I won't be able to just get along with him in any way then. <laughs> Forget about the mask. What's that weasel looking thing? You mean a ferret? They're so cute. I love ferrets. They're adorable. See kitchen. Nice looking kitchen for sure. Like the rest of the room, the kitchen looked really nice. 
It was clean and fully equipped with utensils, and the cupboards were stocked with all kinds of food. Well, that's lovely. <laughs> the question is, who is this kitchen even for? It can't be for us, can it? Well, now it probably is going to be. Let's see, uh, enter was search mode. Yeah. Oh yeah, the pantry. Got it. This way, this was where the loud golfer girl Grace woke up. It wouldn't have been it would have been funnier if you sh if you were shoved into a refrigerator instead. I mean, it would have been funnier, but she probably wouldn't have survived it. Uh, I mean, I have the other sofas, but like it's probably gonna be the same. It's a comfy looking sofa. If I sit down, I might not be able to get up back up. Better refrain for now. Yeah. Okay. Is that everything then? Uh, oh, the vent! Got it. We have another vent. Through the gaps in the vent, I saw the boiler room I woke up in. Oh yeah, this is the same vent. Oh, so he was laying... He was laying right next to the door then. Because it was like... Behind the tables on like that side. Huh, interesting. If I listen closely, I can never hear the roar of the generator. Hmm, that might be why they installed a vent here. They didn't want too much moisture forming on that generator. That's what's what, that's kind of what I was thinking, but probably didn't tell you guys in that part, because I, I don't know. I wasn't really talking too much. Uh, I think that's everything. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go. Uh, yes, let's get it. And now, I was going to say this earlier, but this is where I'm getting a little spooked, because now, obviously... I don't know what's gonna happen in the rest of this game because like the previous part I had already experienced it once so we'll see how this goes hopefully I don't get jump scared that would be terrible I don't want you guys to see that obviously looks like the others are gone whatever I work better alone if that okay that music did not kick in again that makes me happy okay nobody's here I hate corners so much. Even more of the paintings. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so jump scared. Like, prone, it's not even funny. Hi, guys. I'm so sorry. You scared me. How's it going, Love Gang? Oh my goodness! Miss Kyra seems well acquainted with the layout of this building. We should follow our directions for now. Hopefully, hopefully that's true. Hi, Grace. Sorry, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna. I was gonna say this earlier too, but I'm gonna keep everyone who has like an interesting accent, like pretty like one tone for now. I'm just gonna use my normal voice for mostly everyone, and I know that isn't like exciting. But, um, I'm not gonna be able to do, like, voices off the cuff really easily, so I'm sorry. I'm probably just gonna do, like, different, t like, toes to my voice, but not, like, actual accents. I think it's gonna be terrible. Anyway, hi, Grace. Can I talk to you? Thank you. Soybean. <laughs> About time you arrived, Soybean. Can you not call me that? <laughs> I was looking at stuff. You gotta be, if you wanna be a detective, she's so short. <laughs> Toshiko got it. Um, if you want to be a detective, you gotta look at everything. Toshiko Kayura. Right, okay. Got it. I know everyone else's name. You're late. You're waiting? Only because the gremlin insisted. I didn't even realize you fell behind until she said something. I'm ashamed to say the same. By the way, what are the others doing right now? Exploring something else, probably. You don't sound very sure of yourself. <laughs> they have the nerve to tell me to stay put while they inspected the area. If they don't want me exploring, then I suppose I'll explore by myself. I, I mean, personally, if I was going to a high school and I realized one of the persons that were going in the same class was a, a child, I probably wouldn't trust them to just be by themselves either. Alright, she sounds like she just wanted to show off. <laughs> Who cares about that? The guy's here now. Let's go already. Yes, and then the others will realize their foolishness. Oh, I forget to lower my... I forget to hide my voice, I'm sorry. 
onwards to the great outdoors. The little girl turned to face the door, but instead of pushing it open, she reached for a lock I hadn't even noticed before. Click! The door opened with a long, shrill creak, and finally saw what was waiting outside. I didn't, even, I didn't even get to talk to Eva, but it's okay. Eva? Eva. I'm guessing it's Eva. Why oh, is my screen red? Ooh! <gasps> Pretty! Did not expect it to be actually kind of beautiful. Standing before us, bathed in sunlight, was a massive Romanesque courtyard. This looks really nice, y'all. <laughs> Finally, some sunlight. This courtyard. I wonder if we if we can escape by climbing over the hedges. The hedges are tall, but if you turn looking for a rope, oh, I doubt that it's that easy. The devices we're wearing will probably shock us. And also, judging by how the Danganronpa games usually treat this, you probably aren't actually outside right now, I'm just saying. Even though you see clouds, I don't really trust it, especially since we are on, like... I mean, that was the ground floor, I would guess. I don't know, I still don't really trust it. Hmm. Let's see if you're right. Go on, soybean, climb the hedge. What the? Unfortunately, it's pointless to climb the hedges. How do you know? If you take a closer look at the sky, you should understand. The sky? Did I call it? Yes. Do you see anything strange? Anything strange? No, there's nothing standing out to... Wait. Huh? As my eyes tried to adjust to the glare of the sun, I noticed that the shape of the clouds weren't normal at all. I mean, they look pretty normal, but like, maybe it's just gonna zoom in and tell me. No, it's almost as if it... It's almost as if they were concave. Oh, right, because they're like like this. Got it. Because like, if you see a cloud on the sky, it's just gonna be like flat. It's not gonna like turn in any way. Because like, if it did that, that means that like the Earth had just like shrunken suddenly. You know? We're definitely indoors. That's for sure. <laughs> the sky is curving inwards. How can this be? Could it be? Are we looking at a hologram? Yeah, I was I was gonna guess so because like they wouldn't want you to escape. And like if you're if they put you if you, someone put you in this like high security like security cams everywhere facility, they're not gonna want you to escape, obviously. So like they wouldn't let you go outdoors, you know what I mean? Um, but there was a lock on it, they said, so like maybe, but not really, you know? Of this size? No way! This has gotta be a 360 projection or something. Yeah, I think so. Or like... Yeah, I don't know. You mean the sky we're looking at is actually a video panorama? I think, yeah, we're probably in just like this huge room with like screens all over the walls and, and the, the ceiling, I'm guessing. It sounded completely ridiculous when she said it out loud, but at the same time it made too much sense. If this is a 360 projection, wouldn't that mean we're inside some sort of dome? Hmm. Such is the truth I have long recognized. She acts so smart, dude. Like, none of the characters yet I dislike, but she is... She acts really smart, and it's not really... She she clearly is trying to comp like compensate for um, the fact that she is a, a child. <laughs> I keep saying it, but you know, you understand what I mean. Wait, you knew that the sky was fake? Why'd you call this dumpyard the Great Outdoors? It was for a dramatic effect, and truth, I haven't seen natural sunlight since the moment I woke up here. A cause for concern. <sighs> no sunlight? You didn't really- you really didn't see any windows in this building? No, not at all. No windows mean no oxygen. We might su be suffocating as we speak. <laughs> I think that, like, I think we're okay, girl. Like, you're not just gonna be put in this huge, huge building and then just, like, suffocate within, like, hours. There's a lot of oxygen in this building, for sure. <laughs> We've survived this long. I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Hey. You're acting way too nonchalant. Doesn't this place bother you at all? I think he's just kind of stone cold, you know, that's kind of the, the part of... Being a lawyer. It's a dome with a fake sky. That's like something out of a movie. 
maybe whoever brought us to here wanted us to recreate who I keep I keep trying to read, but I'm not actually reading, I'm so sorry. <laughs> maybe whoever brought us here wanted to recreate the feeling of being outside in lieu of actually letting us outside. Exactly. Sure, if you want to make a broad assumption. I don't think it's that broad. In a situation like this, making assumptions is all you can really do. Fair. Yeah. She's gonna be like the ultimate detective or something. <laughs> is, she, is she not? Like she she's like she's like saying things that others are calling assumptions and then she's like, Well, what else can I freaking do? <laughs> like I don't really know. But she's gonna be like a writer or a detective or something. <sighs> Whether or not the sky really is a projection, it's not something we can much do about. For now, we should remain focused on meeting the other students. Yeah, let's freaking go! Huh? Above the inane shatter, I heard a quiet, high-pitched noise. Sort of like a mouse squeak. Oh, is it like... Wait, I can't, I can't, I can't actually sniff that like that. Um, who was sniffing on the train? Was it the gamer girl? Are we gonna meet the gamer girl? It was so unlike the current conversation, it automatically stood out. Hey, can you guys stop talking for a second? Hmm? hmm? Is there a problem? Yeah. Do you hear that? Okay. Hear what? It's almost like whimpering? <laughs> oh no, someone's crying! Oh no, that sounded like a like a higher voice. Strike me pink. Wait, I just heard it. You. Oi, who the hell is crying? Quit hiding and come talk to us. She's a little bit... <laughs> You gotta be a little more empathetic, girl. Like, you're being a little, a little non-empathetic to the situation. <sighs> Do ignore the shrew. Her bark is worse than her bite. Who are you calling a shrew? Oh, I thought she was talking to the person who's crying right now. The crying seemed to have stopped, but whoever it was refused to come out. Mm. Can we just leave them be? If they don't want help, it's not our issue. Don't be so heartless. This could be someone in need. Be careful. Um, to the girl that is crying, please excuse my friend here. <laughs> None of us are here to hurt you, so I think you should come out. Hiding will only make you more scared. You think? I, w I wonder who it's gonna be then. I don't know. I guess we'll. I guess we'll find out. Do you really think that's gonna convince them? Oh, it's her. She's like. I think she has like kind of the look of like. Is she like a fencer or something, maybe? Something like that? Eh? Yeah? Uh, um. She's a little higher. Um... Hello? I, um... It wasn't, um... Oh, she's a little shy. I think I'll like her. I think she, I'll, I think I'll, I'll connect with her. Hello. How about you tell us your name first? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Eloise Tellner. I'm the ultimate fencer. It's really nice to meet you all, even if it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> I love the little swan. I think everyone has like a different animal character kind of to like match their personality, you know? And also, Eloise is such a beautiful name. I, it definitely does fit her. And I was right with the fencer thing. That's awesome. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I was like, I was not really expecting it, kind of, but I, I also was. I don't know. It's weird to say. But anyway, she seems like I'm gonna relate to her quite a bit. And she also kind of looks like me, but that's not the side point. Eloise Toller, Ultimate Fencer. So, like, some have Japanese last names, some have Japanese names. Interesting. Ultimate Fencer, was it? Strange. That's strange. Someone who's pro pro prolific. Prolific. Someone who's prolific at fighting shouldn't have reasons to hide from people. Uh, actually, it doesn't focus as much on courage as people think. Um, the key to fencing is the ability to predict your opponent's moves, along with having the agility to avoid them. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna give her a little, like, shy, like, my impression of the shy voice, you know? Like, hmm. I think she's gonna be interesting. We'll see how this goes, but she seems like she's gonna be interesting and inter an interesting character. <sighs> Acting brash may get you the first move, but it's steady, analytical mind that secures the win. Okay. That's kind of impressive. Thank you. Oh, thank you. 
sorry. I have a thing for, I have a thing for people like this because I feel like I, I used to be like, I, I used to be this kind of person like just a few years ago. And like every time I meet someone or even like see someone who's anything like it, I immediately feel a connection, you know? I get really excited when it comes to the subject, so I can't help but gush. Listen to me. Sorry. But I have to ask, why were you hiding from us? She stood there quietly, deep in thought. When I woke up, I had no idea where I was or why I was here. There were several strangers around me, and they were all so panicked as well. It felt like a mouse caught in a trap. Everything around me was so suffocating. That's why I ran away immediately. I really don't like it when people can see me like that. Come on, give her a hug or something, please. I can't even call my mom. My phone wasn't on me when I came to. I understand. Aww. If it's any reassurance, it seems my friends. It seems my. It seems my friends and I are in the same situation. Seriously. That's probably the last thing she wants to hear. And since when were we friends? Well, <laughs> well I think he's gonna be a little bit of a douche, but I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna soften up to him later on in this game. Trust me. But we're not gonna be enemies anytime soon. I think. Was there anyone with you when you woke up? Mm, yes, but I didn't get to talk to them before I went into flight mode. Sorry. So this girl's just as cool as us. It seems she also passed out on that train. Damn it! What the hell is going on here? I think soon enough you're going to be able to piece it together, dude. There's a lot of things that are coincidental uh, that you probably should pick. You should be picking up, picking up on. Um, were you the only people in the bat in that building, by the way? Um, Miss Kaira is currently introducing us to everyone else. Would you like to join? Maybe. I think I want to stay here where I am. Very well. Very well. When I meet the others, I tell them to gather here. That way, you won't be alone. Also, if everyone's together, we can discuss our next course of action. He's so logical, bro. I feel like. I, th I think I said this in the last episode, but I feel like he's going to be the worst later on whenever things start spiraling. I feel like I'm going to have a terrible time with him because, like, you can't really predict him in any way. Like, he's really, really unpredictable. So, we'll see. Right now, of course, because I said I have a, a massive crush on him, I said that. Um, but, like, we'll see how, <laughs> see how things go, really. Yeah, I'll be here if it makes things easier for everyone. Many oh, thanks. girl. Many thanks, Miss Tolmer. And he uses last names too. I feel like this is something as well. Compared to before, she looked a lot calmer. Oh, girl. Come on, hug her, please. Get a hug. Wolfgang knew just how to handle the situation very well. Or maybe he just knows how to handle people in general. I feel like it's part of his job. I guess it's admirable. But yeah. I mean, it makes sense. I, I don't think I really pieced together that well, but like, him being a debater, d debating is obviously very selfish, like, because you're tailing your own opinions and you're like, trying to convince everyone else of that, but like, a lawyer has to work together with people, so I feel like it makes sense. Like, you can tell everyone's personality from their ultimate power, you know? Okay, let's talk to everyone. So I think Eva... Can I just walk through them? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Hi, Wolfgang. Should I talk to everyone else again? I just want to do that real quick. Let's just talk to everyone else real quick. Just to make sure everything's right. While I agree this sky is most likely a video projection, why would someone want to create a fake sky in the first place? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Hi, Wolfgang. Sorry. I want to see, does anyone else have any pins? Such a strange place, this courtyard. I want to see if anyone else has any of these animal pins. Eva does not. Unless I can't see it. And then... She has swans. Oh, no, no, swans. Uh, she has, um... What are they called again? Flamingos. She has flamingos. Maybe she has something on her clothing, then. I don't know. She, she just kind of reminds me of a sheep with her way of hair is curled, because she got, like... Like the tight curls, you know? And Grace obviously looks like a rabbit. Uh, so, 
But I wonder why he's a sheep. Interesting. Anyway, let's see. I'm gonna talk to... Did I miss talking to anyone? Did I talk to Grace? I, I completely forgot at this point. I don't think I did. A fake sky, a huge dome? It's like something out of a set of a reality show. If it turns out we're being forced to take part in one... Forced to take part in a reality show? Maybe it's like that again, huh? Oh shit. Oh shit, that would be crazy. I seriously doubt that. Reality shows are pretty questionable ethics, but I've never heard of one kidnapping its consistency before. I guess we'll, we'll never know. I'm gonna talk to Toshiko real quick as well. Because I don't think I talked to her. Of the 11 students I mentioned before, five of them will work in this courtyard. There's five people in here? I also woke up here. That makes a group of six. If everyone was split into pairs, it would check out. Similar to you, the surrounding sky gave us hope of a world beyond the courtyard walls. But it's no sooner after we fell for the dome's illusion did the cracks begin to show. I have no doubt that that was the intention of this place, inspiring hope in order to crush it. Hope. Clearly, we are witnessing the machine, ma machination, ma machination, machination of a dastardly villain. The point could have been made a lot through awards. But she's like, she's, she seems very poetic. Also, she's so tall again. Can I see my own shadow? No, I cannot. Okay. Uh, hallway, let's see. I'm gonna talk again to Eloise real quick. See how she's feeling. Uh, um, I'll stand guard when you find the others. Okay, bye girl. I'll see you later. I see this guy. I think I like this guy. Where's everyone else? I'm gonna just see who's in here. Because I only see that guy. Just Eva. And no one's in here, obviously. Can I run into this bunk? <laughs> yeah, it's just this dude. I guess maybe the rest of them are... In here? What's this place? Okay, question mark, question mark, question mark. Let's talk to this dude. He looks like... He has arrows on his back. Is he like a... Like, um, what do you call that? He's a... An archer, maybe? Anyway. <clears throat> a guy was leaning against the hedge with his hands on his pockets. Cool, dude. Again, I'll, I'm gonna have a crush on every single one of these characters, and I'm gonna be so sad when any of them get hurt. It, anyway, so, uh... I'm, I'm in for a rough time. <laughs> Looks like he found some friends. Indeed. I'm gonna, I wanna make him a little seductive. I don't think he's any, like, I don't know, I don't know anything about him, but I, I wanna do that. Indeed. Why did you say hello? He looked at us and waved. I resisted the urge to wave back. Attention. Have you no manners? Talk to them. <sighs> Alright, my bad. Clearly, he needs to stare up straight and face us. I think he is a little bit flirty. It looks like that. He looks like that. I don't know. We're gonna find out, obviously. Don't worry about it. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to act like a dick. Ooh! <laughs> I mean, I think there's been swearing before, but still. Today's just been all over the place for me. Not an excuse, I know. <laughs> I, suppose. I suppose we can forgive you if you give us your name. Easy enough. I'm Desmond Hall. They call me the Ultimate Marksman. Ultimate Marksman? Is a marksman, like, what is a marksman again? I need to Google that word right um, after this, but I don't, I don't remember. Huh. Anyway. Desmond. We have a Desmond. Interesting. I like that everyone has such interesting names. Like, nobody's just called, like, Linda. <laughs> Thankfully. Desmond Hall, ultimate marksman. Marksman. That has something to do with hunting, doesn't it? I think so. Marksman? Oh, it, is that another word for archer? I don't know. A marksman, a marksman, a marksman, eh? That must mean you're good at shooting stuff, right? right. That's right. I have a really good eye for my targets. Guns, bows, slingshots, you name it. I've hit bullseye with it. Oh, okay, so it's like... It's not just an archer, it's someone who's good at like, like, um, like, uh, high distance weapons. What do you call that? 
high range weapons? I guess so. Hold on. With all of those weapons, I must ask, you haven't killed anyone, have you? Yeah, we're getting we're getting a little. Is he's already like? Is this something I can put in, <laughs> into the court of law? Um. Okay. So I think everyone else, like everyone here, has an opportunity to use their skills because, like, we have we have a fencer, someone who's good with swords. We have now a marksman, which apparently is someone who's good with guns and like bows and stuff. Everyone is just very clearly going to be used for something, you know? Whoa. Whoa, never! I realize my talent may leave some people on edge, but I only practice on stationary targets. Yeah, too, me. If, if, you, if you look at me, you probably wouldn't guess that I have any like talents in that, but um, I've won multiple medals in air, air pistol, so, you know, you can't, you can't really tell, and I'm not, I'm not a danger to anyone. Moving targets are really outside my comfort zone. Believe me. Believe me, I've never taken a human life. Am I supposed to? I'm, I don't know. Should I believe you? I see. I see. Good to know. <laughs> For such a serious question, he comp composed himself pretty quickly. Guess this guy knows how to keep his cool. You got, you gotta. If you, like, he said he doesn't hunt, but, like, it's kind of part of it, you know? But, like, you gotta keep your composure and you're like, you gotta be stable for it, you know? So where's your partner? We all had one to my... Oh, sorry. So where's your partner? We all had one to my knowledge. Oh, you mean the pirate guy? That dude, huh? That dude. That dude. He was, well... He was fine. Harmless for the most part. Just a little too extreme for me to be around. In situations like this, I prefer to keep to myself. I know that sounds less cooperative, but, you know... Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. You guys are gonna get along great. <laughs> like, you have like debater, and then like someone who shoots people. A lot. He doesn't shoot people again. I'm sorry. I keep I keep wanting to go to like a high like a high. I like to be very dramatic when I say stuff. I'm sorry. <sighs> Wait just a second. Right. Huh? You also like that grace though. You. Did you just say a pirate? Hmm. It sounds dumb, I know. I wouldn't buy either if I hadn't spoken to the guy myself. <laughs> it's gotta be that one freaky dude on the train, right? The buff one with the dragon tattoo? Yep. Yep, that's your man. He went through the door over there, so... <laughs> ha, I gotta see him! Totally. You have fun with that. Just saying, the guy's a little out there. I... Listen, there's only one thing that I usually miss out. Of, of course, I've been saying Danganronpa games, but this is obviously not a Danganronpa game. It's uh, totally different. But the one thing I've always been missing is, like, there's not really that much, like, romance in Danganronpa, like, between other characters. And I would like to see that more. I, I would like to see it more. Like, just getting to know all of a sudden that, like two characters like each other, you know, that'd be awesome to see. I don't think it's gonna happen right now, but, like, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> by the way, Desmond, did you see that girl in the gray uniform over there? I told her I'm going to bring everyone here. I think it's important we discuss the current situation as a group. <sighs> I burped right at the last second there. <laughs> Could you give her some company while I'm gone? Sure. I bet that is just- I, I just read the second word and that's it. Oh, sure thing. I just- That was weird. The others are an odd bunch, so good luck conceiving them. Oh, convincing them. Good luck conceiving them. <laughs> good luck giving birth to them. You may act casual, but being the ultimate marksman must take a lot of diligence. Yeah. Always keep your steady hand, always thinking on your feet. There's probably a lot to learn from someone like that. I think I'm gonna have the most, like, real relatability to him, just because of that fact. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Everyone else must be in the building up ahead. Perhaps they are discussing something. My, my. Let's head over and find out, shall we? Let's freaking go, bro! Hold on, I'm gonna see how long we've been playing. Ah, not too long. Gonna continue for, like, half an hour more. 
All right. Is that everyone? Are we sure about that? And I can't like, I don't think, can I do? No, I can't do search mode in this mod. So I think it's only gonna be like characters for sure. He has to save that, and the guy. Oh, he moved, hello. Oh, she's so cute. Eloise. Hope nothing bad happens to her, which is kind of like not something you should say in a Danganronpa, in a Danganronpa-esque game, I should say. You shouldn't say in this game, because it's gonna happen then. Let's see. I wonder what's in here then. I'm always nervous when we're interested. Ooh, that's pretty. That's beautiful. Oh my god, game designers! Wow, that's gorgeous. Holy hell, is that a tree? That thing has to be like sixty feet tall or something. That's like that's like twenty meters, I think. Something like that. No. Like fifteen. Uh, anyway, sorry. I don't. I don't do feet. I'm not an. English, I'm not from a feet using country. A sight to behold, isn't it? That's not it? Let's not get too excited. It's only a tree. No. It's not even. I'm not even sure we can say that. Care to elaborate? I don't quite get what you mean. Ava bent down and crushed one of the fallen leaves in her hands. I didn't hear any crunching or tearing. This is a full tree. Impossible! How could someone possibly manufacture a tree of this size? I'm sure people could do it. Look at this. And also, how do you put a tree into this building, you know? If it's real, explain why these leaves don't make any noise when I break them. <laughs> that expression said it all. Why the hell is there a huge fake tree? Indeed. It'd be hard for us to... I'd... It'd be hard pressed. I'd be hard pressed to find a school with an installation like this. That was so. That's such. That was such a weird sentence for my brain to say. I don't know. That it shouldn't even been that hard. You'd be hard pressed to find it anywhere. Like, it'd be hard. Like, you wouldn't really be able to find this somewhere. I feel like you'd only find this in a museum or something. Yeah, like that. Okay. This building certainly has a strange aesthetic. It's kind of—it's very cool, though. That's one way to put it. The tree was in the center of a large circular room. Surrounding it was a bunch of people I recognized from the train. Hi! I see the character. But again, like I said, the person who commented on my video, I see their character. Hi there. Oh, and I see that girl who I think I really like. Okay. These must be the others Sashiko was talking about. Counting the two we just met, this is everyone, correct? Indeed. Correct. Oh, so we have everyone else now? Okay, let's freaking go. <laughs> is something wrong? Then I might be able to actually meet everyone today. That would be lovely. You see. If everyone from our train car is here, where are the other people who were on the train? Oh, so our train car. Are there other people? Th that's... that's a good point. There were other people, right? Of course, the academy said they were served that train for its students. Yeah, but did you actually see anyone? Let's see. I never left our car, but I know Miss Madison did. Huh? I apologize. You mentioned leaving the, for the bathroom, remember? Huh? But I left to pick a piss like an hour ago. I see, yeah. I see. Oh right. I passed a bunch of students on my way to the crapper. <laughs> the crapper. That's one way to describe it. I feel like I need to like. Does, does anyone have like a wiki? The, like this. This just game. I have a wiki because I want to know where she's from. Because I'm. I keep getting confused. Because like, I feel like she has a million accents. I don't know. I didn't talk to them though. They had to have heard the commotion in our car. Why didn't they help us? Maybe they were also knocked out. I doubt it's something we can answer right now. Can I just introduce you to the others already? Yes, we should familiarize ourselves with the people who are currently here. Yeah, I guess that's the only thing we can do right now. Regardless, the whole thing was pretty baffling. If the other students on the train passed out, where are they now? And if they didn't pass out, why did they not help us escape our car? I don't know, maybe there were no other people. I just want to see the statue, because I keep looking at the statue. Okay, let's see everyone here. So there is... 
This dude, this girl, this dude. Wow, everyone's here. There's a gamer girl. I thought that was her earlier. And the, the buff lady. Got it! So this is everyone? And excluding those two? Wow. We have a big cast. I just want to see this statue real quick. At the base of the tree was a marble bust depicting a figure in a creepy mask. There were cracks all over the mask and one of the eyes was even missing. How old was the thing be? I mean, this probably is an old building, because like... It must be old, I think. Ooh. I, I, I really like the imagery of all the people in the, the, like, the masks, but still, it feels like... Oh. oh, does this game also have pink blood? That'd be fun. Okay, I'm gonna start from... I'm gonna start with the pirate guy, because we, like, we're gonna meet him. <sighs> Dude. Dude. Sorry. I, I keep getting distracted. Glad to see you're alright, kid. <laughs> of course I'm alright! Yeah, everyone is scared running away like that. I really thought we could catch you, but... How fortunate that the door came equipped with a lock. <sighs> oh, she, she locked herself in. Got it. <laughs> so she just ran away from everybody? And then just, like, locked herself into the building? I would not have done that, because, like, that is a scary-ass building. See? However, it was all worth it. Look at these people I befriended during my exploration. I'll give credit where credit's due. We came back with plenty of spoils. <laughs> Oi, I want to talk for a second. Huh? You can hear his voice is really, really deep. I need to know the voice acting for this guy, too. But you can hear his voice is really, really deep, and I'm not going to be able to, like, replicate that at all. So just, like, keep that in mind as we go forward, because, like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not going to happen. You're a pirate, right? <laughs> Shiver me timbers, ahoy lady, that kind of pirate, right? <laughs> so he doesn't like being called a pirate? I mean, he obviously definitely does look like a pirate. Huh? I'm not a pirate, I'm a ship captain. There's a huge difference. <laughs> you do kind of- you, know, you have the aesthetic, you know? Huh, a ship captain? You don't even need to be so loud, she was just asking a question. Just a question? Huh. <sighs> For a guy like me, that pirate nonsense is a tired stereotype. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure he could, like, like this guy, if he existed in real life, he could, like, knock me to the ground and, like, just, like, smash my skull in, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> sorry. Pirates live off of stealing and causing trouble. Which ship captains are nothing like those low lives? If you're not a pirate, then explain the clothes. Mm, do these look like the clothes of a pirate to you? Oh, I didn't even notice he has an open stomach, too. Uh. <sighs> Sorry. They just had to put a buff in. They had to put a bu buff dude in this game. Of course, they had to do it. Maybe not a real one, but an exaggerated stereotype, sure. Please don't. <laughs> It's probably best you leave this man alone. I take it he's dealt with our kind before. My mistake. I never like to spoil the mood, but a man can only stand so much. Real sorry. sorry for losing my cool. Anyway. You can hear how deep his voice is. <sighs> okay, whatever. You said you were a ship captain, right? This guy was acting weird, but I wanted to get more out of him. I never pictured a ship captain receiving an invitation from Eden's Guard Academy, especially not someone like this guy. Why not? Doesn't he look like the ultimate ship captain to you? Like... Damn. Damn. That's right. Hmm. That's right. I, he literally is doing it right now. <laughs> I know the seeds like the back of my hand. Every river and waterway within the north and southern waters. Ha <laughs> I am the king of the seas! Hero of the storms. I am... John de la Mer. John. His name's John. I when I say it, it sounds like I'm saying like John. 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 He's French. He's a French dude. Are you kidding me? Okay. 
I keep looking at like this area right here. He has, he has, I forgot, I forgot that his sleeves aren't attached. I love when that happens. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling. John Dilemma, ultimate ship captain. Ah. Look at the ad there. King of the seas, hero of the storms. Do people actually call him that? Or did he come up with those names himself? I'm sure if he actually is the ultimate of those things, like, people did come up with that for him, I'm sure. Is that really true? You know every rover and waterway? Is that really true? Yep. I've studied every map I possibly can. Of course, I haven't actually been everywhere, according to a stingy little thing called Border Patrol <laughs> that's known in some parts as trespassing. <laughs> Those stingy people call them Border Patrol. <laughs> that's funny. I may, the, I may be the king of the seas, but I'm not above the law. <laughs> I love this guy. He seems like a himbo in like the best way possible. I'm. I, li I like him a lot. I suppose that's good enough. Either way, it's not like it matters much here. From the looks of it, we're nowhere near the ocean. So, fortunately, life as a captain has accustomed me to this unexpected. He's like a little, like, is that? Yeah, that is a dragon tattoo there. And then, like, this is like a scar, I'm guessing. You lads can trust in me. I will protect you as if you were my own crew. Protect? Protect us from what? I suppose from whoever put these wrist watches on us. And then again, there doesn't seem to be anyone else in this place who apart from us. Guess that means our only obstacle is finding an escape. Not too big of an ask, eh? All we need to do is find where we entered. Then voila, sweet freedom. For such a simple conclusion, he sure was making a big deal out of it. Yeah, well... You're... Very much in a sticky situation, I'll just say that, like, you're not in a good place right now. It may be interesting, you know, it may interest you, hold on, sorry. It may interest you to know that people are gathering outside the buildings, because you are explored. We want everyone together so we can discuss what to do next. Would you like to join? Good to know. Always good to keep on, always good to keep people on the same wavelength. See you there, mate. <sighs> that guy's a prick. Not at all what I expected. Funny. He was a bit as he was a bit he was every bit as dumb as his appearance. What was the Academy thinking in mining someone like him? You'll see. Um I think we're getting a little short on time, but I think we're gonna go and talk to everyone and then I'll end the episode after we talk to everyone. I think that sounds good. Let's talk to this dude. He looks like a, a smart ass. I love the little, like, leaves that are coming down, by the way. It looks so cute. Anyway, okay, let's talk to this dude. <sighs> a boy was silently observing the space around him and jotting things down into a notebook. Hey, you? <laughs> I, I usually hire volumes for, like, long voice lines. I think I want to hire it so you can listen to that because that was very, that was almost invasive. <laughs> like that was breathing straight in my ears. The hell? What the hell? <laughs> uh, sorry, I dosed up for a bit there. For I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a preemptive sorry right now because like every single guy voice is gonna be basically the same. So I'm sorry. I'm, I need to make some guys like a little higher pitched and like try to make it like a higher pitched guy's voice, but like. It's not really gonna happen, I'm sorry. You have terrible eye bags. Have you not been getting enough sleep? <sighs> getting knocked out on a train was the most sleep I've gotten in a week. Thankfully, that little girl woke me up before I wasted too much time. I think she should be a little sassy. He looks like he's gonna be a little sassy, I think. If I'd known better, I wouldn't have. Your terrible sleep schedule has diminished your already meager natural beauty. <laughs> the guy paused for a few seconds and then began furiously scribbling in his notebook. What is he scribbling? <laughs> Maybe I should just make him, like, should I make him just, like, infinitely tired? 
maybe? Because I saw that, that, like, that other dude who has like the, the big ass eye bags. That's who I was thinking I was going to make real sound really tired, but I'm going to do it, I guess. Interesting. A boy with a snake tie, a girl with a white uniform, a man with a dapper suit. Oi, you. Oi what are you doing? Excuse me. A very loud woman with a visor. <laughs> are you writing about us? Mm -hmm. I make sure to record all my daily happenings. There's no way I'd remember it all otherwise. In some fashion, note-taking is just one of my many responsibilities. <sighs> my, my name is Ulysses Wilhelm, and I'm the ultimate historian. Please make note of that for future reference. So he's a historian, huh? That'll also be interesting. Oh, okay, so he's like really, really good at keeping track of things, I guess? That's also gonna be really good, okay. Ulysses. I've never actually seen that name pronounced. Okay, interesting. Ulysses Wilhelm. Got it. By Ulysses Wilhelm, ultimate historian. That's cool. He's like a little wine. Impressive. Interesting. A fellow scholar, much like myself. Jeez. Shouldn't an ultimate historian be good at memorizing stuff? Yes. Yes, I'm perfectly proficient at remembering historical facts. This notebook is just for more frivolous information. Stuff like shopping lists, classmates' birthdays, when to brush my teeth. <laughs> so he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like the kind of person who's like good at like one thing specifically, like really good at one thing, and then the rest of it is like not that great. So he's like, he's like great as historical facts, but like when it comes to like the most like more uh, normal information, he just has to write it down. Makes sense. I do that too. Such excellent memory wasted on menial trivia. You probably couldn't even remember the date of your own wedding anniversary unless you wrote it down. Unfortunately. I think that's the same for most men. <laughs> I think they want they want us to like him, and then something is gonna go down later on, I can tell. Because like Wolfgang has like the look of somebody who's like really, really liked, and then like somehow He's gonna become an asshole later on, you know. But I'm happy that they get some, get some, get some jabs, jabs in there on men. So, what do you do as the ultimate historian? As for now, I work at the Panta, Panta Womek, Pata Womek, Pata Womek River Museum in Ch Tena Comaca, Tena Comaca. I direct one of the exhibits there, the Cold, Era, the Cold War Era. Okay. When I'm not giving tours, I'm studying primarily source documents in my office. He has an office? God, excuse me. No wonder you can't get any sleep. If you can stay awake while reading all those boring history books, there's definitely something wrong with you. I think history is pretty interesting. I'm just gonna say. History isn't for everyone, I'm aware, but it's important knowledge, nevertheless. True, true. Those who have failed to learn from Mr. Ajun to sound stupid when arguing on the internet. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say, like, something more, like, meaningful, like, you know, when people say, like, oh, when people don't know their history, they're bound to repeat it. You know, things like that, but, like, he was immediately just, like, he was gonna sound dumb. That's not how the saying goes. Oh, maybe I was right with that. That's maybe the saying. I don't know. It isn't, but I updated it to coincide with more modern values. <laughs> uh, I thought it was funny. Right. Humor is subjective. <laughs> he's such a, he's such an asshole, but in the best way. Anywho. Anywho, people have begun gathering outside. The plan is to discuss our next course of action. Could you please join them? Yeah. <sighs> Yes, right. Thank you, miss. Ugh. He hurriedly fumbled through the pages of his notebook. Toshiko Kaira. Did you seriously forget my name? This is the most egregious offense. Take solace in the fact that I am a mere matchmaker and not your romantic partner. <laughs> According to my notes. In a large world run by even larger ideas, small things can be easily overlooked. Damn, what a roast. Less like an educated roast. <laughs> Fanning herself indignantly, Toshiko stormed off. Okay, bye, girl. Should we follow her? Yeah, this guy's. 
this guy we just met probably won't. <sighs> just fell asleep again. Sorry, dude. He's gonna be, like, great for that, but he's also gonna be terrible because, like... God, he's gonna become a victim, I think. Maybe, I don't even know. Hi, you! This is the, the voice acting character. Hi, if you're watching this, thank you so much. <clears throat> Oops, I'm really sorry for hurting your feelings. <laughs> I'll give your content content a try. Who knows, I might really like it. Mm. Oh. Everyone is so pretty in this game, I can't handle it. <sighs> Meh. If you don't- if you didn't- I think I want to make him a little more high-pitched, because he kind of looks like every single, like, K-pop star out there, you know? I want to- I want to, like, give him a little, like, a little higher pitch, maybe. Meh, if you didn't like me from the start, you're never gonna like me. Hi. Hey, you two. Hey. Huh? Over here. Oh crap! New guy! Over here! What? You boarded the train before the things were crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Check it out! Me and the new guy, together again. Stop acting like we're friends, I don't even know you. You're just messing with me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? What is? You know, that thing you just said? Hey. Maybe you've heard my name before. Does Kai Montego? 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 Montego. Kai. So we said Kai. That makes so much sense. Because, like, some people have that as a stage name in K-pop. <laughs> Does Kai Montego ring a bell? Hey. Come on. Kai Montego? Something of an artist, something of an entrepreneur. Very funny. He's an influencer, a really big influencer. Nope, does it ring a bell? Ouch! Ouch! I, ego. Oh, yeah, he said that. I thought I already lost all faith in humanity before coming to this dump. What? <laughs> oh no, he's getting he's getting upset. <laughs> Kai Montego, ultimate influencer. I love this this music, it's so intense. You don't recognize that dumbass? You don't re oh, sorry. <laughs> you don't recognize the dumbass? It must be nice. You do? That's the cancer of the internet. You disagree with him on one thing and he'll sick his ar army of underage followers on you. <laughs> He's a dictator with a trendy fit. Uh, another day, another dictator? Sheesh. You naysayer types are always so overdramatic. Don't listen to her, our new guy. This chick's just recycling other people's propaganda. I think- I don't know how I feel with Kai yet. We'll see how things go. Cause like, sure he's pretty, but like, an influencer? I feel like it's kind of an interesting thing to put in here because like, we've had a lot of different people in here, obviously. I don't know, I'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. You're one to talk? Check yourself in the mirror before crying propaganda. Uh, yaha. Yeah I see you're no stranger to photo editing. I'm kind of impressed. No one would ever guess you had the face of a horse. You're gonna make the guy upset. And the tears to turn as quickly as they vanished. I'm not sure what I expected an influencer to be like in person, but this is definitely not it. H hey, leave Kai alone. He may not be the nicest person in the room. But can you see you're hurting his feelings? Ugh. He can get over it. Boy. Anyway, what about you? Oh, I didn't even see. <gasps> she has like a little like a little bag around her. <gasps> she like a makeup artist. Shit, I love her. I love her so much. Then I love her so much. <sighs> can you give me your name and talent? Oh, sure. I'm Diana Venesia. Your local cosmetologist. If you're ever in need of a makeover, I'll work my magic. <laughs> Just as. Yay! She's a cosmetologist! That is so nice. I love that. I do need a makeover. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. Diana Venetia, ultimate cosmetologist. <laughs> now we got that name though, because like everyone else has been like a little more different, and now we got. Diana. But it's still a very nice name, obviously. Is that it? You're just a makeup artist? Excuse me. 
It's not just a makeup artist, a baby makeup artist. What? Diana is the biggest beautician in Hollywood. She's relatively new to the public sphere, but word of her talent has been dominating social media. Enough to pique the interest of an entertainment elite. Ho oh, ho, now every English celebrity is scrambling to hire her. I see this is not your first time talking about her. So. Okay, interesting. I'm simply quoting my friends, they're all on Diana's waiting list. I'm sure. Why is it a shock that this guy doesn't recognize her? What about me? Why do you care what he thinks? Isn't the demographic of people like you largely teenage girls? My stuff is for everyone. I'm inclusive like that. <laughs> I'm so inclusive. I also realize now I see his is a butterfly. It's so cute. I didn't recognize it like anyone else. I'm guessing that um, drawn has to be like a dragon then. And then I didn't see what Ulysses was. I guess we'll see. Hold on. Okay, that's it. Let's break this up. Diana, could you go? Could you and Kai go to the courtyard outside? We're trying to get everyone to no gather worries. there. All right. See you later. But none of you guys like me either. We'll see if he'll be like a little spoiled brat or if he just has some issues. We'll see how this goes. A makeup artist and an influencer. Were this any other academy, I wouldn't bat an eye. The ultimate talent program is a shell of itself. I'll he'll, he'll handle <laughs> it'll hand out Elden tiles to anyone who asks. Well it's kind of the point. But Ling's Garden Academy? It said it was above that. It said it prioritized ac prioritized academic talent. Well, maybe they're really talented, I don't know. And now, it thinks I'm on par with those two? Damon, you're kind of being an ass. Ooh, we get to meet Wolf Guy. I think he, is that a wolf or a bear? I'm gonna see now everyone's animals that's left. So he's definitely a wolf and he, maybe, maybe like a, a crocodile? Because of his hat, it looks kind of crocodile -y. Anyway, let's talk to these two. I'm sure they're all... I'll talk to them together. Come on, man. Just say something. <laughs> Come on. Please. Please, please. <sighs> so harsh. All I wanted was your name. Hey. Huh? Oh, it's more people. Hey there. <laughs> He's like, it's like the, again, like I said in the last episode, he's like a dude girl. He's like, he's just, he's just a very friendly person, it seems like. What's the matter with him? I don't know. I spent ages trying to get this guy's name, but he won't say anything. If he's being a weirdo about it, just ignore him. Who are you anyway? <laughs> Who am I? The name's Jet Dawson. Ultimate drag racer. Nice to meet you, shrimp. He's a drag racer. That's awesome. I was gonna be. I was thinking he was gonna be like a biker or something. A drag racer. That's so cool. That's awesome. Love that. Jet. His name's Jet. That's literally perfect. I love the person who named like who named these characters. That's amazing. Jet Dawson, ultimate drag racer. I wonder if he'll ever get to see his face though. Maybe, maybe not. A drag racer? Given his outfit, that comes as no surprise. Aren't you warm in that suit? <laughs> that was so Scooby Doo like. That like, that like shocked me a little bit. That was, he was giving Scooby Doo. <laughs> Are you confused? There's a fan inside the back of my helmet that emits cool air. Kind of like fans and car seats that cool your butt. Oh, <laughs> isn't that super rad? Though he yells every word, he can make anything sound like a big deal. <laughs> Only issue is they don't extend to the rest of my suit. Then stop wearing the suit. <gasps> and walk around naked? I meant wear different clothes. <laughs> you should also have the ultimate talents, correct? Would you mind sharing it? Is he like really nervous or is he just like really, he doesn't talk, I don't know. 
In this, in this angle, he doesn't have the eyebrows. My name's Mark Bursky. I produce music. He's a musician? He makes beats. Mark, he's a Mark. <laughs> I love that we have, like, Jet, Eloise, John, Mark. Love that. Mark Bursky. Bursky? Like, Bursky? Okay. So, a music producer? Yeah. Mark Bursky, ultimate music producer. That's cool. I mean, that would make sense with the headphones. Oh, look how cute! Um, I, I'm gonna make him really, like, awkward, obviously. But, um, it's mostly bad remixes and stuff. <laughs> no, man, your music is wicked good! You know my songs? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Do I even have to? You're a little different music producer. That just says that. That's just a. That just about says it all. I assume you two also look up in this place, right? Do you have any idea what might be going on? Yeah, this place. This whole shebang did come out of the blue, but to be honest, it feels a lot like an extreme haunt. Do you know what that is? Ooh. But if that is it, we're just put in this in this huge banner and they're gonna come and beat us up. <laughs> no, I don't. Figures. Figures. You don't look like type. Meaning. Anyway, extreme haunts are really intense horror attractions. Think of a haunted house crossed with a survival horror game. Staff will shuck you into the underground tunnel systems, trap you in coffins, anything to scare you. I'm pretty good with coffins, not so much the tunnels. That's not important. So you have claustrophobia, huh? I'm trying to, like, pick up things about these characters to, like, see what will come up later. What's this got to do with us? You see, there's a couple places that are known for starting their cons with a simulated kidnapping. Huh? To make it feel as real as possible, they even take you when you least expect it. The thing is, they can't just jump anybody. They go, you gotta consent first. The hell? I'd never agree to be kidnapped. That'd be cool. What if this was just a huge thing where, like, everybody, like, they actually agreed to do this when they were, like, little, and then, like, they forgot, and then, like, years later, this happens? I'm just throwing things out there, I'm just saying. Come off the grass. See, I don't, I don't, I don't know her accent that well. Extreme haunts, eh? People know better than to involve me in that crap. Maybe we consented to our kidnapping without realizing? Because you wanted to go to Eden's Garden Academy, and that meant the kidnapping. That's cool. I mean, I'm only uh, speculating, obviously. For example, the letters we received from the Academy. Is it possible those invitations were actually consent forms in disguise? Really? Don't tell me you actually believe this guy. Given what we've seen so far, I wager anything is possible. I mean, true. Is that really what's happening here? In accepting that letter asking me to join the Eden's Garden Academy, did I unknowingly agree to this crap? Mm. Probably did. Well, that's just a theory. We won't know what's going on until we explore some more. I know some people who might be interested in your theory. They're gathering, oh, they're gathering by the courtyard outside. You can join them if you want. Sure thing, let's go, Mark. <laughs> Though he looked less than enthusiast, enthused, he let Drag Racer take him by the arm and lead him away. Could it really be possible? Were the letters we received actually consent forms in disguise? Is this some kind of messed up attraction? What does it say about Eden's Garden Academy? Is it a part of a, is it a part of the charade? Is Eden's Garden Academy even real? Probably is it. I should know better than to think nonsense things like that. If the academy was fake, someone would have already blown. Someone would ar have already blown its cover. It's more likely that this is happening unbeknownst to the academy. I think either that or the people who actually have this school um, probably like don't let people out alive. Obviously, like, because why would they? Like, if you, if you, like, let's say that this is, like, a killing game, like, 
only one person can survive. Like, that person who was left obviously would tell somebody. So like, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. <sighs> Alright, let's see how many people we have left to talk to. We have three people left to talk to. Sure, we can do that. We're going a little over the time, but you know what? We'll just deal with it because I don't want to pause right now. So we should pause after we've talked to these people. Hi, girl. So she... Oh, is she like from Russia? <laughs> I can't tell anything else. Oh, there's spider webs on her. So maybe she's a spider. Anyway. Yo! Yo! Cassidy Amber, the ultimate pro gamer. Don't forget it, Kay. Yo! Okay, so she's Cassidy. I like that name a lot. Cassidy Amber, ultimate pro gamer. Pro gamer, that's a cool title to have. Jumping right into an introduction, I like it. <laughs> Making a good first impression is key to grabbing the attention of your viewers. I'm being like that just now, I would love to watch your gameplays, girl. <sighs> Especially if you have over 20 million of them, gotta earn that watch time. 20 million? Is gaming really that popular? It's not just gaming, it's pro-gaming. <laughs> Facing off against opponents in front of a large audience, with prestige and prizes on the line. Stakes can't get any higher. Oh, so she's like an, she like an esports player, kind of, almost, I'm guessing? While her talent is pretty f frivolous, her attitude towards video game competitions is somewhat impressive. It's sort of like how I feel about debating. Question. Oh, question. What is it? Do you guys know if this place has internet? <laughs> I promised my combats my streaming schedule wouldn't change after starting school. I was thinking if that hat thing meant that she was like a communist. She is too. Lovely. So I'm kind of freaking out. Your comrades? Cassidy's comrades. They're the biggest fan community on the internet. She must mean her followers being a streamer and all. Oh, she's like, oh yeah, she's like a streamer. Yeah, okay, got it. It would definitely explain that. You must be very wealthy then. I've heard that popular streamers earn a lot of money, especially from subscriber donations. Indeed. Ah, there are many stories about young men falling prey to the infamous tiered subscription. <laughs> I love that we're like, like, this is like very, like, clearly made by people who are very in touch with the internet culture. Like, this is very much that, you know? They are rendered forever marriageable. Such a shame. <laughs> so, how many suckers have you swindled with such a large fan base? You must be raking in the dough! <laughs> That's, that sound. The hell? What's wrong with your face? I see how it is. I see how it is. You think the only motivation is money, don't you? Well, duh. Why else would you be a streamer? <laughs> she would have said it's poor. Poor Shlazzy's scum. I love her so much already. I, I would marry you, Cassidy. Whoa. I stream for the betterment of the human race. As the leader of Cassidy's comrades. Oh, she's supposed to be like, like tied or like, she's supposed to be like, 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 she's like tied to like communist leader. That's so funny. It's my duty to redistribute most of my earnings to the masses. You mean you give away all your money? I do tons of expensive and generous stunts on my channel. Most of it is for charity, but sometimes it's for random subscribers. One time, one time I bought a spaghetti factory and donated to a public school. These, those kids will never have to pay for lunch again. They've probably gone sick of eating pasta every day. I would never. <laughs> All of these giveaways are streamed too. They're really popular, so I get tons of viewers and donations. So I'm a user and donations from them. Impressive. Impressive. You managed to commodify the act of charity. Of course, I gotta reserve some money for basic necessity. Chocolate of chocolate soda being one. Chocolate soda? I mean, sure, go ahead. 
but it's not a problem for a person like me to have money since I earn it through my own hard work. The real problems are the swine who make billions every year, even though all they do is sit around, drink cocktails, and stare at their stock profile. You get me, girl. <laughs> In fact, I can't even detect the rancid scent of a morally bankrupt billionaire in this very academy. I bet they're planning to profit off our suffering as we speak. I was thinking she was talking about Wolfgang for a second, but I'm sure she's talking about, like, the person who is doing this. This girl's honestly pretty deranged, though that might be why she has such a large audience. True. Regardless, it doesn't explain why someone like her was invited to Eden's Garden Academy. As wary as I am of the future confrontations between you and the more affluent students, I suggest you head over to the building I investigated. We've been telling other people to gather there. Right, it was nice meeting y'all. Okay. Ulysses is just standing here. Yeah, he's just asleep. <laughs> Good night, Ulysses. Okay, we have two more characters to go, and that's everyone. Um, so, yeah, let's talk to their the the true meaning. Oof. Oof. So you all got caught up in this too, did you? I'm gonna have such a big crush on this lady. It's not even funny, y'all. I remember seeing the five of you on that train. You're really ultimate students, huh? Correct. We wouldn't have been on that train if we weren't. <sighs> Just making sure. I knew the education sector had low standards, but... Are they just handing out titles to anyone who asks? <laughs> Damon's gonna love this girl. Like, she's talking exactly like he does. He's gonna be like, whoa. Jeez. What? What the hell is your damage? You literally were talking like that earlier, dude. Damon, don't say anything. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Right, right. That's it. What's the matter? I know this bitch. As in, personally? <laughs> nah, she's the harlot that's been ruining my, mag ruining my magazines. Ever since her interview with the Rich People Digest, her stupid success stories have been plastered everywhere. She is rich? Okay. Youngest ever self-made billionaire? Pioneer of the agricultural industry? Oh! So that's why she's like a business lady, because she's like business, but like agriculture business. Got it. Did I hear that right? This girl's we're talking to, is she actually? <laughs> I'm flattered you mentioned my resume. Your resume? So those things you said weren't an what weren't an exaggeration? If I may ask. This is news to you? Anyone who is who is anyone knows about Venoma. Venoma. That's a cool name. Winoma? That would be my name, yes. Although, many call me the ultimate entrepreneur. Origins aside, it's one good title. I love her voice, dude. I love her voice a lot. So she's the ultimate entrepreneur. Makes sense then. Like, she's like business in a way that like, is not like the, the typical business, and I love that. Winona. Ultimate Prontrepreneur. We won't get to know her last name. That's cool. That's gonna come up later, I'm sure. No wonder she gave us such an intense aura. This girl probably has enough money to buy an entire country. Still, that doesn't mean I'm gonna let her talk down to me. <sighs> she has looks, talent, and wealth. She would be truly... She would be an truly auspicious, auspicious? Auspicious match. Interesting. Why would a billionaire need to attend a school like Eden's Garden Academy? I thought it would be an opportunity to make connections with the well-established geniuses of my generation. Now that I'm aware of the lax admission process, I'm leaving the first chance I get. And not because you've been kidnapped? <laughs> you can't leave. Destiny has decreed that I must guide towards the, wonder the most wondrous romance. No. She really is just like, trying to max make everyone. That's probably where she's gonna come in. She's gonna be like, you guys would be perfect together, you know, I said like that. I'm not really interested in that. I'd rather receive financial operations from the Academy. <laughs> At the very least, let me be your steed. With my divine foresight, I shall lead you your legal batter to victory. 
After I fell asleep on that train, someone must have carried me out and dumped me next to the train here. Why did no one stop them? Were there no precautions in place to stop someone from manhandling with a student? I'd say it was extreme ineptitude? I said <laughs> I'd say it was extreme ineptitude on the school's end, but since it appears I'm not the only victim, well, that makes things all the more sinister. So she thinks someone carried her here? What else? What else, dude? What else? It's plausible, I guess. They could have transported us from the train by vehicle, then carried us in. When you woke up, was there anyone with you? Honestly? Yep. But she was weird, so I left her. <laughs> You're a walking stereotype. We know about as much as you do. The five of us had been walking around and talking to the other students that were on the train. The rest of them were congregating outside. Once we meet everyone, we may be able to figure out what's going on. Say, why don't you join them? I think I'll take you up on that offer. It's such a relief that one that one of you actually had something useful to say. I think she's gonna like Wolfgang, I think, and it's gonna end what well, it's gonna end badly. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. That girl is a piece of work, but given the recent happenings, she's not worth the stress. More importantly, what's happening to us? It's too much for a single pair of hands. Someone had to sneak on to maybe even hijack that train. That'd be cool. Plant a, tr plant a chemical agent and then carry everyone who knocked out. There's got to be one, more than one person behind us. A group, maybe. Makes, maybe it would make sense. The question becomes, who and why? Alright, last person for the day. Let's go. Hi, girl. Tall, gorgeous lady. What's this? More friends? I know she's probably, she's a little more country too, but like, I'm not gonna try because it's gonna go badly. Stop. Let's not go that far. I don't even know your name or talent yet. Oh, but let me tell you. You can hear it, she's like, clearly that. Hi, my name is Ingrid Grimwall and I'm the ultimate blacksmith. So the blacksmith, huh? I mean, I would probably guess that with the based on the muscles and like the, the apron and like the stuff on her. She has a line right there. It's cute. Ingrid. That's a, that's more of a Swedish name. Cool. <laughs> Ingrid Grimwall, ultimate blacksmith. That's awesome. That's really cool. <laughs> a real blacksmith, eh? Is it anything like the movies that depict it? Have you ever made swords out of molten metal? Not just swords, but tools, armor, statues, if you name it, I can forge it. That's cool. Hmm. It's never an easy undertaking, I will admit. Sprain muscles that are par for the course, but the same, cli the same way climbing a mountain is painstaking, but reaching the top levels of high, you can never forget. The struggle is all worth it for the outcome. She's really cool, I think. Like, she's like more, like, intelligent. She's like a very big thinker, I think. I like her. No wonder she's built like an athlete. Her job sounds like a non-stop high-intensity exercise. So... so, how has your kind not gone extinct? Oh. Your kind? Uh, extinct? Made redundant by technology. Can't you see? Aren't there ways to make specialized weapons without overworking yourself? Well, I, I don't like to admit it. <laughs> Against modern machines, it's true I'm not an equal match. Because I think I'm better than them. Those hunks of metal may look cool, but their creations lack the human touch. You gotta keep things natural, traditional. That's when truly amazing things happen. Now would you look at that? If my creation touches the heart, it's better than anything made back in machine. Machine. And perfections be damned. Ooh. Better than machines, huh? People have always told me my skills were impressive, but I'm yet to compare to a computer or something. Yeah. Usually, you don't debate computers, so that makes sense. <laughs> How come a blacksmith can receive this sort of claim before me? Could you explain? Blacksmiths are really cool. There's always been a demand for high-made things, especially nowadays. Does your audience skew older by chance? Old folks, well movie producers, bowler game enthusiasts, even the occasional youngin. They're all people who visit me. Oh, it's great when I can relate to most of my clients. Their excitement is mine. Oh, she has fingerless gloves too, that's awesome. Exactly which client does she relate to? In any case, are you the same as us? 
We also kidnapped on that train taken here. Oh, I would I wouldn't say kidnapped. What? Did you not black out on that train? Uh no I did. Then how else would you describe the situation? Hmm, maybe it's a su surprise excur excursion? I can tell she's a little like she's very positive too, I think, so see so yeah, how that goes. Better yet, it's a prize exam. The, peer, the people running this program are just putting our abilities to the test. <laughs> That's stupid. If the academy was that unhinged, no one would continue attending it. Well, you know, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Needless optimism isn't a substitute for a reason. By the way, there's a gathering happening outside the building, this career explore. Would you like to join us? We plan to discuss some very important matters there. No, aren't you nice? I'll get right to it. Don't do anything silly while I'm gone. Well done. We've exchanged formalities with everyone here. We should meet up with the others for and formulate a plan of action. On our honor as ultimate, we will not be confined any longer. What a dramatic kid. <laughs> the others should be gathered by the courtyard outside. That's where I should head next. Oh, we saw some other stuff. <clears throat> the other 11 students were gathered in the center of the courtyard, nearly discussing the situation. Oh, we have this discussion too? Damn. Let's see if I can pause in this. I don't know for sure. Oh, I can't pause. Okay. We will continue after this. So, we are done for tonight. It is currently 1 p.m. No, 1 a.m. I'm sorry. 1 a.m. right now. And uh, I think I definitely do have to... Um, get out of here so yeah i'm going to save actually hold on i'm gonna stay on this page while we talk um but yeah we have now been filming for quite a long time i think it's been like an hour and 20 now so um that's something but anyway so we have now met everybody which is very very nice um i try to like remember everyone's names as we continue on because obviously that's a very important part of the game um so yeah, we've met everyone. I'm excited to see where this story continues on. Um, and yeah, we have a couple of things later to get to in the next episode. We're going to get it right into the um, the 15 person discussion, which is going to be a lot um, and a lot of voices at the same time. So let's see how things go. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm not going to get to bed because again, it's very late. Um, and I do need to edit this episode, so we'll see how things go. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next part, uh, soon enough. Hopefully it won't be a week away. Um, but who knows, I might not have any more time to film, um, until I leave, uh, in a couple of days, so we'll see. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Um, so yeah, bye-bye, take care, have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye! Bye everyone!